second line through the French Quarter shows support for trumpet player Eugene Grant, who was arrested nearly two weeks ago after playing with his brass band on a Frenchman street corner. To watch him be arrested was like a slap in the face for every single musician in the city, in the state. Grant, who has developmental disabilities, was shown on Facebook Live being pinned to the ground by New Orleans police. Just got real physical, you know. Before cell phones were rolling, body cam footage shows Grant swing his trumpet at an officer, knocking the body camera to the ground. Police say it was their second attempt to get the band to leave as they were blocking the entrance to a local business. Eugene Grant and his band played nightly here on the corner of Frenchman and Charters in front of this bookstore. I love the music, but... I'm the only person that allowed them to play on this corner. The owner of the bookstore, David Zalkind, made the call to police. We had to ask them to please move, and they, the crowds wanted them to stay, and um, our, our customers couldn't come into the store. He says the band blocked his store, hurting business. The problem is when you have the crowd wanting you to keep playing, I don't blame them for wanting to keep playing as long as they want. It's more money for them and no money for me. Frenchman Art and Books opened 40 years ago as an LGBT bookstore. The focus of the store is all about New Orleans. Zalkine took over the store last year, reopening it in March. He says his store is part of the Frenchman Street culture, much like the brass bands. We have a lot of people in the neighborhood that are happy that bookstore has remained because it's part of the social fabric. It's been here for 40 years, want it to continue, as well as the bands. So if we can find a way to coexist, Let's do it. Both Zalkind and the Young Fellas Brass Band have similar goals. Just a lot of stuff need to be talked about. The city has to find a way to accommodate the bands. They hope this opens up conversations to find solutions that allow street brass bands to play without hurting local businesses. In the Marini, Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. And charges against Grant for obstructing a public passage and resisting an officer were dropped.